episode, we are talking about... What was the song that made you... It's My Chemical Romance, right? My Chemical Romance. I had started my period like last week and there was just a lot of things that were bothering me and I was not okay with starting I, with that starting I with like. that and starting I had that and I had to be like I'm not okay with this and that's okay yeah and I was on the toilet just like singing in my head like I'm not okay yeah I'm not okay oh, like, yeah. like chemical not romance okay. that song and I just had it stuck in my head and yeah. I had to be like I'm not okay that's and okay. that's totally fine because but like rage, not okay. Just like, ah, well, because here's the thing out. sometimes. Get it like, out. While there is a time to try to be like positive and upbeat and like, hey, let's like be optimistic and look at the good side of things. Sure. I feel like there was so much of that in this pandemic. Like, hey guys, like blah, 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 blah. And that's great. We're all in this together. But then there's some days where I'm like, I don't want to be okay. And you don't have to fucking cheer me up. And it's okay to not be okay. And it's okay yeah. to let things bother you. Yeah. That's life. And that's normal. Yeah. And so I think this would be, I think it'd be fun just to like have an episode where you and I just talk about things that we're like, we're totally not okay with. Yeah. And be fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't have to be like, rah, rah, mm, mm, like positive We've said people. before, yeah, we've said before that that kind of feels fake. fake sometimes. Like if you're not okay and you're doing that, it is fake. I know that you're trying to like fake it till you make it and make other people feel positive, but like it's more powerful to be not okay, but say it will be okay. Yeah. Someday. Yeah. I'm just not okay right now. now. That's more positive than being like, everything sucks and I might be having a nervous breakdown, but (laughs) hey guys, we're all in this together. And like, you know what? I I just look at like the clouds and I go, everything's going to be fine. Even there are legit some days where I'm very empowered and motivated by sure. suckiness right and i'm like we've got fucking got this let's fucking own it let's get it and there's other days where i'm like no no i'm not okay no right now and it's and more this is getting to me mm-hmm. and i'm fucking human and i need to vent and i need to talk about it and i don't feel like i'm on top of the world right now actually right now i feel like i'm fucking drowning yeah and i feel like i'm literally bobbing up and down for water gra- you know you know sure just literally grasping for air and coming back down and sinking again yeah and that's how I kind of felt last week. I had to like even go to Chris a little bit. Like I went downstairs while he was cooking dinner. I was like, I need to talk to you. I feel like I'm drowning. Yeah. I'm not doing okay right now. Oh yeah. And I think it's okay and fine to admit that and be like, this is how I feel. Yeah. And a lot of times, sometimes I don't need like advice or help or someone to be like, things are going to be great. Sometimes Mm-mm. I just need to be like, you know, they are, you're not like an idiot. Correct. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, that things are going to get better unless you have some kind of chemical imbalance or whatever that you need to, Correct. which some people do. Yes. But when you don't, you, you have bad days and you go, today's bad. Yep. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. And I don't need anyone to tell me that it's going to be, mm-hmm. I know it's going to be. It's so on the drinking Brett's private page, there would be some girls on there that will literally hop on and be like, Hey, I just need to vent for a second. And I love that because I feel like we all should have an outlet of where we need to like to vent and to talk about these things. Because a lot of times as women, not all women are like this, but a lot of times as women, we just got to talk about that shit and get it off our fucking chest. Yeah. And we feel better. Yeah. Right. And so does it ever make you feel okay? So like sometimes when I'm feeling like that and it's a beautiful day, (laughs) it makes me feel even worse. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of sometimes when people are like, it's going to be okay. It makes me feel like the sun is shining bright on my face. And I'm like, I would like a rainy day right now. Mm -hmm. Like, just get out of my face. Like, I don't feel good. I want it to rain. I want to be in this. Yeah. And it's going to make me feel better to just be like, everything's shit. Let's just do this. If a rainy day coincided with that sucky moment in my life, I would love that. Because I would just sit in bed. bed, Well, I can't really do that anymore. But (laughs) I would, you know what I mean? I just pack up clothes or blow labels go. all like and just be like dramatic this, like and be like fuck, sure and just wallow in it for a second yeah maybe like put on some sad music put on fixed by wallow do you know what i used to do when i was a kid is like i would wallow for fun and we do we used to do it without calling it anything Correct. where you like sit in your room you just listen to sad music and, and that's what i'm saying kind of like an emo moment you're in it wallowing. but it was good to do you it felt good. Have it. Like sometimes you would just like cry. Yes. And you had no reason to cry, but things Ugh. just made you sad and the you just song. felt like crying. Yes. And you just felt like being in your emotions for that second. And I yes. think sometimes you get so busy 
we kind of talked about it with the CEO of, you know, Liquid IV. Of Liquid IV. We had Brandon Cohen on. Yeah. Uh, he's going to be on Monday night's show. Mm-hmm. So cool. So inspiring. Yeah. Awesome dude. Anyways, you're going to love it. You but just get in, but, you know, trying to find that balance and you just get so busy that you forget to take time for yourself or to be kind of human mm-hmm. in a sense. And, and taking time for yourself can mean just being not okay correct, and not having to put on the brave face for people. Cause that's, is sometimes Actually, doing stuff for other people handling it. Yeah. When you put on like your smile so that other people are okay. Yeah. It means that you're not necessarily taking care of just not being okay. Correct. And I that's do what that you sometimes. need to do. Yeah. I yeah. will cope with emotions and like things that are shitty going on in my life with jokes and yeah. with laughing yeah right like making a funny video instead and be like i'm not really okay right now but i'm gonna make this so it like because i don't want to share right now online what i'm going through so i'll just make a funny video and we yeah. all can laugh about it because maybe it'll make me feel better it doesn't make me feel better sometimes or like maybe i just need to just deal with it and i think that this last week like after i got back from the podcast i was you know there's a lot of things i was just dealing with and i was like this would be a good thing to share maybe we can all just be yeah maybe you guys can listen to this and be like you know what i'm not okay with this either or yeah these are things i just want to yeah fuck it fuck it so um and this like being here and talking about it is a venting sesh for us too because mm -hmm. i don't think like i know you don't i don't usually talk to i don't usually do this with people so like we'll walk outside the door and be like we're fine everything's good because we have other people in the office we don't (laughs) want them to have a bad day you know what i mean like so we're being courteous by like not doing this to normal people but with you girls and people we yeah. feel comfortable we do so we're just gonna be whoever we are that's kind of the beauty of podcasts right i know and we don't have to be like oh and what's All this the time. what's that oh yeah oh j- my hair is that what you were wondering about so that's, that's another thing that's number one i would like to start off with i am not okay with the state of my hair right now have you noticed i've been wearing hats look at this look at that gorgeous it I actually ha- doesn't look I know, that, but, but when you get up close, you start seeing my roots, okay. which, so I have light, light brown hair. And so I dye my hair darker brown. So when my roots start coming in, like my hair's already thin enough as it is. Right. And I don't have like mine too. I don't have very thick hair. Mm. So when my light roots come in, it looks like I'm balding. Got it. And I did a couple of videos the other day, you know, some promotional from my business. And I looked <laughs> And like and every time I looked down, it looked like there was a bald patch in the back of my head. And I was like, like, no, it's I just have brown. to redo this yeah. now, right? I have literally a bird's nest Ooh, fun. in the back of my mm-hmm. head right now because my extensions yeah. are, the tape extensions are slipping away mm-hmm. from each other. And it's getting all the rest of my hair in the glue. Yeah. Fun. And my hair stylist decided to be like, text me super late one night and by the way, who I've been like keeping in touch with for the last month, like, hey, when are you hey, opening? Hey, when I get an appointment? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Been going to you for a year. Like, yeah. You, you ready? Know? You ready? You yeah, ready? You open? You, you open? Know, so I submitted all this stuff. I needed to her. She texted me like super late one night when I was working and was like, hey, girl, I have these appointments open at the beginning of June for you. I was like, so I saw it the next, you know, the next morning. I was like, cool, about to respond. Like, didn't know my schedule yet. Literally an hour later, she was like, hey, I don't have until like July basically open. And I was like, so were you supposed to respond at midnight? I don't know. Okay. Okay. She didn't give me like 12 hours even mm. to respond. Nice. Not even 24, sure. but not even 12. Sure. And I was kind of like, <sighs> I'm not okay with that. No. My hair is in a bad state. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I'm not that's okay the with other, that. That's the other thing, right? That we feel bad about being like, I'm not okay about my hair when like people are like I know. sick. But look, I, this is a safe yeah. space. You cannot be okay with whatever you don't want to be okay Correct. with. Um. Same, my hair, uh, my hairstylist is awesome. She uh, is, what should I say? Um, I, I had to push my, my appointment back. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just say that. Yeah. So you're not going to your girl anymore. Well, so I still the am. The issue with my girl is that I fell in love with her when, like, she was recommended from this girl in the area because ever since I moved to North Carolina, I have not found anyone great for my hair yet. Yeah. So I'm still, like, trying to find. So I thought maybe this girl could be it. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you just test it out. When she first did my hair, it was, like, amazing. You can tell she put a lot of time and effort into it. Mm-hmm. And there was a few times. You pay a lot for extensions. 
Like yeah. you pay a lot. Mm. So you want it done right. And there was right. a few times that weren't done correctly where the extensions came out really quickly. Yeah. And like tape was exposed within a week after and I was not okay with that. Sure. You know, cause you're paying like hundreds of dollars yeah. for it. And so this last time she kind of like rushed. It's not like a burger that wasn't cooked quite Correct. right. She it's like rushed. hundreds upon thousands of dollars. And it's like, yeah. you know, you kind of like give them like enough strikes. Like, okay, like that's sure. the third or fourth strike. Sure. Like, you sure. know, and you, you do so much to communicate with them. Like, hey, I would like this. Hey, I like that. And if they just don't keep doing it, eventually you're just like, okay, I'm not going to go back. To yeah. me, I'm not the type of person where I need to like write her and be like, hey, these are all the reasons why I'm not coming back to no. you. I just don't go back. You literally don't come back. And then you just talk on the podcast Move about on. how you're yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that's no, what we you do know, i won't say no, no. Any, you're not no. gonna we're not gonna like totally blast but like you know if she listens she'll know but um, i mean i like her but really... it's one of those things where i was kind of like man this really sucks it was like a lot of different things just happening and i get like times are hard but also sure. i luckily got on google and i found a really awesome chick up in rally so hopefully like and that's the thing too like if I, I guess I feel like if I really want it done right, I got to go somewhere where it's like a bigger city. They have a lot more options. My girl only, only had a few. Mm-hmm. I picked from like the cheaper one, I guess, kind of right. that worked for me. So this other girl, she does them like for a living. She's been doing them for a while. They're going to be expensive, but hopefully worth it. Yeah. So I needed to find any, some, you know, someone who can give me what I wanted anyway. Well, my Botox lady has <laughs> not gotten back to me, and I'm not okay with that. I don't have time to get my nails done, so I'm going to do a press-on still again um, because I can't do walk-ins at my nail place. You, you, you can? Know? No, you need to do appointments. Appointment? Just because they need a, an exact number of people, so you can't just, like, walk in. I think that's, like, the funniest part with me is, like, the only thing that I even care about is just the hair. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the only thing that I do splurge on. Yeah. Like, all the rest, I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. So. Yeah. Nails? Yeah, so nails is, like, not really a big thing. But, like, the Botox, I like, not. And, and it, and. No, I mean, but I'm saying, so, some girls, like, I mean, my sister, like, with her nails. Oh, you have to. Like, she. Every two weeks. To upkeep, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel bad for girls, because I feel like that's way more upkeep. And your nails can probably get damaged. And yeah, definitely. So you know a lot mean? of people in this pandemic like had to rip off some, rip off some nails, and they're chilling with yeah, like pretty shitty. So that's not really a big thing. My main thing is, but it's something to be to not be okay about. Yeah, I feel like we keep, you know, what I mean, like we keep we keep doing that all day long. It's like, well, I, I'm not okay. With I know, this, I know, I know. Yeah, and being like, oh no, but I know there's way worse. Da, da, da. No, yeah, we're not it's doing like, that. My we're hair, like. like this sounds so stupid. Chris got a Corona cut. Have you heard of these things? A Corona cut? No. That's what they're calling them. When your hair gets butchered. Oh, where did he, he went somewhere? So Chris, so there's this uh, male hairstylist. Sure. That I guess was apparently like secretly doing haircuts in his fucking garage. Okay. For people. Mm-hmm. When you don't, you know, he wasn't supposed to be. Sure. But he was taking them. And so Chris got like the number under the table type of thing and oh was like gosh. hey we're all going back to work full time now so i need to not look like a fucking mess sure. and get my hair cut so he specifically told the guys like no you know no less than a three on the sides and like chris knows exactly what he yeah, wants yeah, yeah. but i guess there was no <laughs> mirror in the garage and um chris looks like a little kid like he looks about 10 to 15 years younger oh gosh, with his hair really stop. short <laughs> And so it got like snipped the fuck off. Like I know Chris and he looked at the ground and was like, bro, bro, bro. That's like a really long piece of hair. And he's like, oh, it's just all. Oh, it's cool. Like, oh it's yeah, cool. it's just like a couple. Yeah. Chris came home and was like, I fucking hate it. Like he was so. Oh my God. <laughs> mad about it. So didn't he calls do it that. the I Corona that. cut. No, that's good. And uh, he's been wearing a hat. He feels like a fucking turd when he's at work. He goes, I look you know like so stupid and i'm telling you right now like while so so many people are like it's fucking hair i'll grow back which i kind of did say to him not in a bad way but i was like well at least you're a dude and right hair will grow back really quick because if a girl gets her hair fucking lopped off like oh my god yeah but your hair can really honestly change your look it can enhance it and it can make it you make you look rugged yeah you know yeah and with him like when he has longer hair like i i still think he looks cute but it did change his whole look and, and it's the like, same thing with mine, too, jarring, a little bit every right? time. Yeah. Like, hair for me gives me the confidence. Yeah. I know that sounds so stupid, but for me, new head of hair, new color or something, I'm like, I can own this fucking world. I feel like goddamn yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. So right now, if that's the, only luxu- that's the only luxury I want, I'm not okay with the state of my hair. So is, neither is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> neither is Chris. 
<laughs> Either is close. How perfect you guys were sitting there just like with hats on. Yeah. Yeah, Inside. we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at home, I don't care. watching TV. At home, I don't care. I'll throw it up and it looks stupid. And you can see my extensions just popping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a shit. But yeah. everywhere else out in public, I'm like, oh, oh, I'm just pulling these things out like left and right. I'll just leave a trail like wherever I go. I'm just like, well, <laughs> whatever. And I'll just like pull them out because that's how easy they're coming out. Like, it's just like, you know, when they start. Yeah. You've had the single ones before. No, I have. And it's had, just like, yeah, it's almost like peeling your nail a little bit too. Where you're like, Shh, oh. and you like pull it all the way and it feels good for a second. And you're like, damn it. Have it's you had those come hair. out in public? I've had one that like was loose enough that I had to like, I pulled it out and then put it in a flower pot behind me. I was at this like, <laughs> I was at an event at, at Sundance actually. And we were like, were take, you? Yeah. And like whoever did them before, it wasn't my same girl, but they did them like really big and easy to pull out. And it was like falling. And I was like, oh, and like pulled it out and just literally like I was talking to someone pulled it out and just literally like put it behind me like that <laughs> in like a dark place but i don't know where i was i forget you what the circumstances was uh, it wasn't a tape but it was like the beat it ones i think oh yeah i think it was a beat it and i was with like work guys and yeah I don't know what we were doing but all of a sudden they like looked at the ground and they're like ew what the fuck is this it was like a huge glob of like my hair. Really? From the It might have even a been bead? a clip on. I don't even know if it was a clip on. Okay, now, did you ever did you used to wear clip ons before I did. you got them? Okay. And I've definitely lost them at a guy's house like before. Yeah. I used to before we would like I would hook up with sure. someone. Take them do out. Do this like quick clip pull purse. Smart. Thing, but I did like a quick clip to and it was like on the side of the bed cuz yeah. we were like about to hook up and it wasn't in a purse so i was just like chunk, 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 and like kind of pulled it out and then i like either left it there i can't remember i either left it there and then just never talked to him again because i was embarrassed yeah or i like got it somehow in the morning and like <laughs> put it in my purse and he must have seen something where it was like i got caught i remember when it was like caught. i mean it's still kind of as embarrassing it was a lot more embarrassing then like extensions are a little bit more prevalent now but back in the day they weren't known as much yeah so i just remember a huge glob being on the ground and the guys being like what is that i'm like it's my hair <laughs> like you know yeah there was one time when i was in vegas with a bunch of buddies and like work friends and i put in you know you're you're going to the pool you're trying to look cute sure so i put my clip in extensions yep. in, and we're like partying and and i think we went up to i don't know you know like those huge drinks that you can carry around your fucking neck. Oh, the like yards, the Mardi Gras dude. ones. The yeah, yards. the yardsticks. Mm -hmm. I got, I went up and got one of those and I got like multiple shots in it. Sure. And I think one of my pieces of hair came out like while I was up there. Like on the ground? Like up at the bar. Okay. You know what I mean, a couple okay. of my buddies were like, Tiffany, what the fuck? And I was like, and I'm pretty drunk so and I'm like, getting whatever, more drunk. And I took shit. it and I had literally no purse on me. You know what like I mean? I had just like a card. Yeah. I had a swimsuit on, flip flops, that little like fucking cover up. Yeah. Nowhere to put this. So I took. You couldn't clip it back in? I could have. Yeah. I think the clip broke. Oh, I think okay, it was like, okay, okay. you know what I mean? There like must have been a reason why you didn't. There was a reason. Yeah, yeah. And I put it in my swimsuit bottoms. Oh, like a Merkin. Yep. And I acted like I had pubes. Love it. And just like walked around of the casino, you like, did. getting laughs. Of course, you people. turned it into a funny thing. Yeah. My buddies were like videotaping and being Love like. It. Because people, you know, of course, were walking down Las Vegas Boulevard. See the now, strip, Vegas. like laughing and being like, "Oh my god, you can dude. do that in Vegas." Oh you yeah, can you could totally it. get away with it. I mean, you were drinking in public, but that yeah. was like the first time where I was really embarrassed about it. That I just was like, "Fuck it, run with it, have fun with it." I think that's when I stopped. I think with that last guy, I think is when I stopped doing clip-ins and did more of a permanent situation. Yes. Um, have you ever had a guy though, like, or at least even with Ross, try to like? I love oh, my, yes. I love my hair being played with, or like your fingers under your hair, and then oh, like, I'll definitely, and then they're like, "What the fuck?" and it's stuck. I'll definitely like pull the hand away from it. I don't want the like, same. He'll try. I think sometimes he'll like see that like I just got it done or something, and wants to like know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So he'll be like, "Oh, hey," and like pull in, <laughs> and I'll be like, "No, no, no." <laughs> But, you know, whatever. It's not like you can't really feel it. But, like, when you first get them done, you can fucking feel it. It just, like, feels like beads all over your head. Yeah. So, whatever. It's like they know, but I don't want it to be so yeah. in their face. Do you know what I mean? Correct. He doesn't think that my hair grows like this. He's seen it sure. out and in and out. You know what I mean? Unless they're completely that retarded, which, by the way, some no offense, they could be because... 
I still don't even know if he knows. I know that like I'll get the extensions in. Oh, Chris knows. And he'll be like, you look really good. Like he can't figure out why, but he's like, huh, you look really good. And I'm like, well, oh, like, maybe because I have two pounds of fucking yeah, hair. Yeah, literally my hair got tripled. Yeah. Today. But they don't like see that. Do you know what I mean? Chris like, knows because I'll tell him. I'll be like, oh my God, I'm about him. to spend this much on extensions. For sure. And then he'll be like, oh my God. And I'm like, it makes me happy. You, you know, you have like $10,000 dirt bikes. That makes you happy. So one of my first teachers in hair school had told me that like she was like girl like it doesn't matter what kind you get like because people were doing these braided mm-hmm. um i think they were like just braid- the braided wefts not the weft so it was individual braids so there was no glue no nothing it was just this really tiny braid that they would put hair in hair in uh. so if you saw it it would kind of just look like a little braid so when you put it up it kind of looks like a dreaded cute. look yeah, a little bit look, it's yeah. super cute Really hard to do, super expensive, sure. more expensive than even Great Lakes or anything. But she was like, girl, it doesn't matter like how much you get, what you do. Like The guys really don't know why you look so good. They just know. You know what I mean? They yeah. just see like, they don't see like what kind you have, how it looks, how long it is, what yeah. the color is. They literally only see that it's like, I'm supposed to like long hair sure. and I like it now. And you know what too? Just like let us do Let's just let us do it. Shut the fuck up. And don't shame. I've been seeing a lot of this. And so this will be another thing I'm not okay with. Sure. I'm not okay, particularly. And I I know this is like goes for everyone, but I'm not okay, particularly with men. Shaming women, especially even more recently online for the way they look. Yeah. Whether it's, uh, oh, you you have fucking wear extensions. Oh, you're ugly. You can wear makeup. I think it's fucking ugly that you Mm -hmm. wear. Like I saw a guy go on a rant on TikTok and every girl has been responding to it. I think TikTok took it down too of like literally shaming girls for wearing like any type of makeup and the type of makeup you wear depend like makes you the type of woman that he thinks you are. Like, oh, you wear lipstick? You're fucking stupid. Why would you just wear working the lipstick? You know this what I mean? This like, a rant? Yes, like some guy going off. Like, Fuck you wear him. fucking eyelashes? You might as well be a fake-ass bitch because, like, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm like, yes, I am. who the fuck are you to be, you know, who has the audacity to tell me what I should be looking like? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and also, It's all for our own confidence. So yeah. when you do that, it's even more defeating the purpose of why we're doing it. So like, no, we're not the guy that's doing the rant. Like we're not doing it so that you like us. No, we're doing it so that we like us. We're doing it for us. And let's just do it for us. Whether it makes us feel good, whether it makes us feel confident, whether whatever it is, let's keep doing it. And it's so funny because what will happen is a guy will start dating a girl and this girl will have total confidence issues and major insecurities and will be, doesn't want to be seen in the light when having sex and only wants to be seen in the dark. And we'll always talk about like, Oh, I'm fat here. Mm-hmm. I'm ugly here. and feels like they have to wear makeup. And these guys will be so confused. Like, Oh my God, why do you feel this way? Oh my God. I think you you're amazing. So and yeah. They always feel like that. They give them compliments. It's because of you guys. Yeah. The reason why we have these fucking issues. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've been seeing a lot more of it online too, which is really sad. Some girl hit us up even so, and was saying that she's been getting during the height of this whole pandemic a lot more like senseless ridiculous negative messages and hate online and she was kind of like how do you guys deal with it how do you guys cope with it because Mm -hmm. it seems like particularly um men just being like ew eh you got a gut yeah you don't have big tit i like like the ew ew. just straight just like ew or all these things oh your fix your eyebrows fix your face like all this other shit i'm like not even the same with me but stuff i've been seeing with everyone yeah and like, here's the best part is like 99% of the time you go and look to see who it is. And it's some like fucking fat ass old dude. You know what I mean? Like just it bully online. It's not a confident or guy it's, that. It's not the guy that, who's that okay is busy with himself. and is a CEO mm-hmm. or a fucking like, do you know what I mean? I know. Those guys that are busy and confident, they don't have time to fucking do that no, shit. No, they don't. No. So I pretty much know that. I have not. I think I just don't. I'm not online enough yeah. to get that kind of negative or I'm not just like, like I don't have enough followers. It, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Or like hearing it, you mm-hmm. see it and you're kind of like, dude, yeah. why? Yeah. You know, and, and I guess it just goes with anything. And the biggest thing that I would say about this is, I mean, they want a reaction. 
Yeah. You know, these people obviously want some type of attention and they're not getting any attention. So they rather just even take negative attention. Mm -hmm. If someone feels a need to project so much hate onto you, they obviously have way more hate for themselves and in their own life. Right. To pro- yeah. c- to constantly be projecting that. What's the saying? We hate most in others what we dislike in, in ourselves, ourselves. Right. Yes. Which is true. Or they're when we say they're jealous, that sounds like, you know, it does sound like what our moms would tell us always like, oh, they're, oh, they're just jealous, jealous honey. But, but like, really, they're not jealous of like how you look or how pretty you are or whatever. They're jealous that you can put yourself out there right. and not really care and have confidence. So they're mm-hmm. they're more jealous of like how you feel about yourself. Well, the thing is, then they is are like, it's not just like that you're pretty or whatever. But there's yeah. gonna be people out there, too, who like even just guys, for example, who just group up everyone in these categories, yeah. right? So all of a sudden, if you're just some like pretty chick or whatever, like if you got fucked over by some pretty chick or felt turned down by one or made fun of whatever, he's now going to group them all up in this, mm-hmm. right? Or even so, if they're dealing with their own issues, a lot of people would rather not just look internally and go, hey, what do I need to fix with me? Right. Right? Like, I have issues. What do I need to fix? It's so much easier to be like, no, it's everyone else has a fucking problem. It's never me. Right? Yeah. So then what people rather do is be like, fuck on you and shit on you and all mm-hmm. this, other, all this, because it makes them feel better because guess what? They're having a hard time, so they'd rather bring everyone else down to their level instead of looking internally and you know figuring out what they need to do to elevate themselves and to make things better in their own life so yeah. rather than shit on everyone else's life and i think that's just the best way to look at it is yeah as sad as it sounds ignore it and then try to just look at it in a way where it's like you know what these people are obviously going through some shit they feel the need to like put a complete stranger down it makes them feel like shit yeah it's interesting Online. there are some people that do this thing where they confront their trolls right a i mean people sometimes have i think done there's it and a good time to do it and a Bad time. I don't know. I don't. I couldn't even tell you. There's this girl. I think her name's Lindy West. Mm-hmm. She's kind of like a yeah. So she's a a plus size uh, writer, and she's like a bigger girl, and is one of those like you know fine like fine with my body, like no body like body positivity, whatever. Yeah. And there was a troll that was just like, you know, you should die, or her dad had died, and they were like, this is why he died blah 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 all this shit so she ended up reaching out to this guy Mm -hmm. and they started like a conversation about why he would say stuff like this and she ended up getting into him you know being depressed something happened with him like his dad commuted committed suicide whatever he was lashing out he was just trying to get I don't know but anyways they ended up having like a conversation it doesn't always happen like that right but she was cool enough to be like hey like let's just talk yeah. Like it seems like something's really wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like you're not well. Like, do you need to talk to someone? Mm-hmm. And they probably do. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now. But what I've seen from experience with that in particular is the influx of like these meme pages mm-hmm. being out there and particularly in the military community. Mm-hmm. I see like a lot of people in the military literally starting a meme page and trying to be uh try not to be connected to it like they don't purposely put out their name in their face but what they'll do is they'll go ahead and tax you know specific people online and it's a lot of hate towards like either whether it's girls in the military or like certain guys yeah. or groups and whatever and you're just like that's a lot of bitterness and i know girls and individuals who have specifically wrote these people in their dms and was just like hey man what's like what's up what's up yeah right and you know people have tried and eventually like people have got to them mm-hmm. And, like, it, it would come out, like, you know what? I'm just not happy with A, B, and C and the way that I'm these really things are, I'm like, alone. portrayed. But even so, like, a lot of these guys. Oh, they were just mad about a certain or, thing. Let's just say even it. if they have a problem, right? Like, sometimes they would hit, like, an epiphany and be like, you know what? I've had a problem with this. And instead of talking to these people like adults, like I should, or trying to address this issue in a professional manner, and, like, instead of attacking these people and their livelihood and their bodies and everything about them and putting them down maybe i should just talk to them like a fucking human being yeah it's rare but you know sometimes it happens to get through to trolls i don't know um we'll get to some sponsors but you yeah. are you're having a real pastel moment right now and it looks really <laughs> beautiful thank you it's really like it's really antithetical to how you're feeling which is like Correct. i'm not okay but like you're so bright and pastel I am. and 
I love it. Sometimes you, gotta, you have you to do that dress too. Dress for how you want to to feel. Right? Right. I want to feel light and airy right now. Right. And I don't. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> Or you put on like dark eyeliner and like dark clothes and you just like, yeah, feel you just like, fucking I'm not feel okay. It. That was me all week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're trying to like turn it around. I hear yeah, you. Yeah. I yeah. hear you. Um, well, first up, we have, as always, strikeforceenergy.com, promo code ladyboner for 20% off. You know, Strikeforce is a tasty, tiny little tin pouch full of energy that you can put in any liquid mm-hmm. that you have mm-hmm. from water to wine if you're gross. Um, <laughs> vodka i now want to try it in wine we have a bottle right here so we're gonna have well. to uh the seltzers we're gonna get oh that's right so we got did we reach out to basic they reached out to us right uh, we were talked about it on the show yeah basic we had put in like a tick like we put in our story they had an awesome tiktok but we loved the uh drink it's yes. called basic seltzer yes. basically they kind of making fun like basic bitch in a way they have basically don't text your ex text us and they have like the oh. number at the top like we're so it's excited so and they're sending us some shit so we're excited maybe we'll put Damn. it in that hey we're like big time but we'll for <laughs> sure put strike force in there because you yes. know mom can't drink during the day without a little right? strike force in her seltzer so go to strikeforceenergy.com promo code lady boner for 20 mm-hmm. percent off next up we have express vpn Ooh. yes Ooh. You know this. You've been using this, huh? So, uh, thanks to TikTok, there's this movie <laughs> called 365. Okay. Um, it's like 365. I think it's called DNI. It is like a UK movie. Okay. And you can only get it through like UK Netflix. And guess what I immediately did? Express VPN. VPN. And so, boom. It change is. your location. Refresh yep, change Netflix. your location. Yep. Change your IP address, which we'll do. You can get into the UK Netflix um this is it's like a 50 shades of gray but even better Ooh. and like sexier Ooh. so that like immediately i thought of express vpn of course got on there logged in super simple and again this is you know one of the m- many things you can use with them yes so. and we all know that they you know they protect your digital anything yeah, your, your, your virtual everything yeah yeah your virtual private network but on top of that you can also watch uk netflix so <laughs> yes. pretty sweet like go to <laughs> i like her with, ex- with express Ooh, vpn a little pinky in there Ooh, <laughs> ooh. go to express vpn.com slash bro at b-r-o-e-t-t-e-s to get an extra three months of express vpn free that's awesome express vpn.com slash bro at do it now protect that digital butthole and <laughs> watch a show about little little butthole stuff is there butthole stuff in no it? it's like um it's like dominatrix slapping. okay yeah mm. just a little light slapping. and the guy is like way hotter than christian gray by the way beautiful yeah. love to hear it next up we have a favorite uh in these times mm. better help yes h-e-l-p uh better help is an online counseling site um basically you can text you can email you can get phone calls however you want to correspond with a therapist Mm -hmm. licensed therapist that's going to be appointed to you depending on what you write them about what you're dealing with and right now look it could be anything this is perfect for the show by the way I this would is who love you not need to talk to. This text there best to be like, you know what I'm not okay with not these okay. things. Guess what? They listen. Oh yeah. And, and they're the, like, it's the okay. How's you can not be okay. Yeah. Right? Depending on what you put in. Correct. Um, if you go to betterhelp.com, put in promo code broets. Uh actually you're going to betterhelp.com slash broets, and you're gonna get ten percent off your first month. Um, and that's going to be for all of our listeners. I think this is really important right now. I actually love this sponsor mm-hmm. just because, as we said. Here's the thing, too. You got to take one thing Brandon said today, the CEO yeah. of Liquid IV. You got, you know, he was talking about taking care of himself in order to take care of yes. like the rest of the day and mm-hmm. the rest of everyone else around him. And this is what you have to do. You have to take care of you. And if you find yourself struggling or find it hard you spend time with your family and your loved ones it's because probably you have to like put a little love into you and talk to someone who can be there for you and who's giving you all their attention right and this better help can help you do that 
Yes. So um, I think that's vital. It is vital. It is perfect. And no problem is too big or too small. So like, don't think if I, if you're just feeling a, a little off, mm-hmm. like they can help you with that. And then in turn, it will help you with the rest of your, your day to day. And especially right now. So I yeah. think this is perfect. Go to better help. H E L P dot com slash broettes. Get 10% off. That's huge. Just start getting better people. Next up, we have a a new little sponsor that's also perfect for these times and perfect for you. Yeah. We have Nom Nom, which is a pet health company that offers fresh food, supplements, gut health, uh, gut screening, and other resources for pet parents that Mm. are wanting to go a little above and beyond, right? Uh, I don't want to say other brands of food, but you want to give your pets the best yeah right? a lot of people consider their pets kids let's yeah. be real yeah. and right now Part our of pets the are our kids yeah <laughs> like we take care of them i yeah. have a friend who literally i don't know how she does it she has like four or five dogs but she cooks some she cooks some meals like legit meals like right. sweet potatoes chicken and rice and don't get me wrong i would love to do that because i have a bougie little like terrier poodle mix sure who literally literally will only eat things that are real like real food yeah yeah, yeah. like his treats he's everyone tries to give him treats he will not eat them unless it's like freeze-dried chicken treats and i'm like oh my god yeah and this is perfect for him it's because perfect. they literally isn't it a uh who is it a veterinarian yeah so it's a veterinarian nutritionist yes that actually makes and formulates the the, the meals food, and it's all food that you can recognize so their idea yeah. is exactly what you're saying which is like if it's good enough for people to get healthy, it's good enough for Correct. for dogs, dogs, but you just need to formulate it in a different way. Lots of fish oils, right, yep. in most of these things, but they are going to put different things in that are good for their, you know, their hair, their stomach. It's going to be different, but mm-hmm. it's going to be real food and no, like, ingredients that you can't understand. You know, when you Correct. look at the fucking food well, and you're just like, you what is all this other shit? What the first one is, isn't it? I'll tell you this right now, is that these look amazing like like real food because yes. they are yes and for someone like me who wants to give my dogs the best but i don't want to cook them the food they literally prepare it for me and then literally ship it off that day so i yes. get it nice and fresh mm-hmm. um little trigger only likes chicken like really so he got the chicken chow chicken chow yes which has chicken sweet potatoes yellow squash spinach and fish oil and all these have fish oil in it which is great because lola who's our oldest dog she has two torn acls she's 13 years old she needs needs a lot yeah we give her you know extra anyway she gets that turkey fair one which is the turkey eggs brown rice carrots spinach and fish oil like literally (laughs) yeah and it has like glucose in it It has a vitamin e supplement i mean it has the things that they need Mm -hmm. too as dogs to keep them healthy which is great for someone like her you know, we, we, want, we want to maintain her health and keep her for as long as we can. Yeah. So this is great for them. It's great. And, like, you feel good. If you're getting meal delivery for yourself, like, I know. get it for your dogs. Don't get meal delivery for yourself and then give them a can. Like, <laughs> let's all, let's keep the whole family healthy. You just get on, you take, it's not necessarily a quiz, but you just tell tell nom nom about dog? your dog and just like breed weight any issues that they're dealing with and you will have a formulated plan delivered to your door whenever you need it yeah. um if you go to try nom.com slash bte you know what that is some mm. big tit energy <laughs> for 50 percent off a two-week trial that is huge that is huge yeah um and we are so happy to have them on the show because we need stuff for everything for uh, we have stuff for our hair we I have know. stuff for our own bodies now we need something for our fur babies our fur babies and i know a lot of listeners have dogs that they post that they love and they have stuff for cats too yeah so pets. I'm, yeah yeah pets in general so, I, just, I just have dogs so yeah so go to try nom.com slash bte for 50 percent off a two-week trial do it do it you know what made me, made me think about my friend janae janae if you're listening bacon bits needs this bacon bits is our cat <laughs> bacon bits is bacon up in bits, our studio yes. bacon bits needs to be fucking Pampered. pampered too. <laughs> dude you're gonna look at the food though and be like holy shit this, i know maybe i'll just like try a maybe i'll bite. eat it <laughs> Just really a little good. nibble. I didn't food prep tonight. Maybe I'll eat my yeah. dog's fucking food. <laughs> Gross. A little joint. I know. 
That's what I'm not okay with. People eating dog food. Okay. No, yeah, all those motherfuckers eating dog food. It's huge on TikTok. Okay. No, it's so not. let's. We talked about this one just before we even start the podcast. But you know what I'm not okay with? What? <laughs> I'm also not okay with people wearing masks when they drive. Dude, we've said this too. What's up with that, man? If you're wearing a mask alone in your car, you need to never come out of your house. Is- not even when this is over. When you see that, isn't it kind of creepy? I just don't get it. Don't you like look at it though when someone's driving, right? And you see them with a unless mask on? They're, unless they're an Uber driver. But no, I see not. people by themselves, by themselves in a regular car just like with their mask. Like, why? Is why? it so nice? Is it so comfortable for you? Are you so used to it? You want to get used to it? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what the logic is behind it. It's Do weird. It's forget? creepy. I feel like I'm in a fucking like End of Times movie. Yes. And it's, it's watching giving me anxiety. Because like, I just think, is this the fucking world? Because when you think about it, too, like, people who paint, who wore, sure. like, the N95 mask before, people who did, like, you know, uh, drywall or, you sure. know, any type of insulation, yes. right? Nails, even. Right? Yeah. They take it off. As soon as they Once fucking they're can, they're done, dude. they don't just keep it on in their driveway. They're not You're trying to it. fucking walk around with it. They're Home. not like, oh, I forgot this super uncomfortable thing on. Like, they hate it. <laughs> they want to take it off. Like, our medical personnel do not just hop in their car with their dirty ass fucking mask. Oh, whoops, this is so comfortable. Like, <laughs> what? It's weird. It's weird. And I was thinking, I wasn't thinking the same thing recently, but I definitely in the beginning of this was like, why does that person have gloves and a mask like in their car. own car? Yeah. I, I don't get it. Yeah. And so I that. I don't understand. I know, it's weird and it's creepy to me. And that brings me to the second thing is what I've noticed is. Sometimes shopping in Target or other places just be kind of like therapy for me sometimes. Sure. You know, you just like turn your brain off yeah, and like, oh, yeah, look yeah. at all these things. Not anymore. And Target, shopping in stores creeps me out with people and I get really annoyed because people who are wearing gloves and people who are wearing masks think that they're invincible and I'm not okay with that. Oh, so they think they can just like creep up on you? They, they just think they can do anything now. Right. Right. Like they're like, hey, I'm wearing. Hey, gloves. I'm wearing a mask. I'm fine. I'm wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. I can stand like literally right over your shoulder and breathe on you still. Oh. Right. I like. They're touching. I don't understand glo- the point of gloves. If you're, if touching, you're everything touching everything that's touching dirty anyway and, and touching your face. You know. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Some so, people do not get the point of it for sure. Of the so gloves. that's one thing I'm still noticing, is that you'll get people where you go out in stores and they'll still have like all the stuff that you're supposed to stand on, like. <laughs> Hey, stand on this little dot because we have to like keep six feet. And these people are like, I'm fucking wearing a mask. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like, ah, Mm, well, but it does. If we're going to follow rules. Yeah. Let's just follow them all. Sure. Just because you're not wearing a mask or just because you're wearing a mask doesn't mean that you're, you know, go go ahead and do whatever the fuck you want now. So I don't know. It's just weird. Like I don't wear a mask in some places. I try and keep my distance, but I don't like. I don't wear a mask every time I go like into the grocery store. I don't know unless I have to. Unless I know that I, I know that sounds weird, but um so I don't feel invincible, but I definitely feel like people are looking at me and that's something I'm not okay with. <laughs> but I don't want to wear it. <laughs> so like don't want to wear the mask, but then I also don't want to be judged. Correct. Yeah. I mean, so you I can't that, win. that more so when you're in Whole Foods? Whole Foods cuz like, well, everyone in there wears wears the mask. mask. I, that's where I had my first I've had a couple anxiety attacks during this the one was seeing that salon with the plastic curtains around the chairs oh. and the um, salon owners and everyone was in a mask and they had gloves and it just seemed and they had like a plastic opening when you went into the salon and it just seemed like I was just like oh my god like this is crazy like mm. what are we even doing yeah to get our hair done we're going into like a freaking Dexter room yeah. right <laughs> And then the other one was Whole Foods when I went in and literally I was the only one without a mask. And I was yeah. like, oh, my God. I've like, done that. Yeah. And primarily that place. Fuck. You know, when you think of the, the people who go there or like. The, For sure. The very like natural, sure. home, you know. Yeah. Homeopathic. Yeah. Right. People like doing everything like hippie. So, of yeah. course, you would expect them. They probably have masks made out of hemp that they've sewed Yeah, themselves. of course. <laughs> soy, ha- uh, soy mask. Yeah. Soy mask. A fucking yeah. cashew, cashew, cashew mask. milk. 
that's fermented and made yeah. into yeah no? completely biodegradable <laughs> like as soon as i take it off it crumbles into my hands and i can just it's so funny too because i love it. whole foods yeah blow it, away. blow it away i know yeah. i love whole foods too but i'm like not supposed to i get dirty looks from my car every time yeah. i have a huge tahoe right yeah. lifted and they're oh, like yeah they're like oh uh, they always act like i'm about to hit them because they're just like hate me so much <laughs> who is this oh, big vehicle oh god like <laughs> And I'm just like, yep, I'm coming to Whole Foods. You're like, I'm okay with being judged my vehicle. I want to be healthy too. <laughs> Not to the environment, to my body. Yeah. Right? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I'm still going to get the, like, I'll go to Whole Foods and get healthy food. But then also I'll be like, give me these fucking brownie cupcakes. What yeah, dude. It's, it's like organic sugar, right? And butter. <laughs> Love it. It's it. so much better for my body. Not. So not okay with that. Not okay with the judgment. It's weird. I don't know. Yeah. So that was like one Not thing. Not okay with everyone going live all the time. On are they Instagram. still doing? Oh, kind I of. guess I've noticed that. Yeah, they still are. They're starting it back again. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, Karen, you don't need I to don't go live. I, yeah. I don't really need to see you go live, Karen. Um, Jason Derulo does it a lot on TikTok. So I heard Jason Derulo is making a fuck ton. Is he off TikTok? They just put out an article about like him just like killing it i mean he is killing wise. it on tiktok and, and I, how do you monetize on tiktok um good do we fucking know question yet? yeah i think you can do it going live people okay. give you actual fucking money supposedly like they give you like you can buy stuff like products oh okay like off tiktok and then give it to people going live or something it's fucking weird but like part of me is like why would you give this guy who's a fucking no bajillionaire it's gotta be a sponsor money. type well, thing where sponsors too yeah particularly in like doing certain branding and I'm sure like having certain products and his stuff. But sure. I guess that's one way you can do it. Like there was yeah. a uh, TikToker talking about how he makes like five to seven thousand dollars per video, which by the way, videos are only 15 to 60 seconds long. Yeah. So I guess like these TikTok houses and stuff, I am kind of dumb with it, but I'm I just don't like, know much about I'm it. I'm always either. like, how how are they making money and maybe it is monetized like youtube i have no idea yeah don't really care but. i mean part of me is like not okay with it because i'm not the one making bank and then a part of me is totally cool with it because my friends are like scoring big time yeah but i was like you know sitting there like busting my ass with my company like fuck. yeah 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 getting like no sleep and not talking to anyone and barely even seeing my husband and uh, this girl was like i started an only fans and got 35 37 thousand dollars her first month and i was like what yeah and she, by the way she's not putting any like she doesn't have like overhead or anything or like any money that she's putting out beforehand to make back she's literally you know I mean? just putting like she's just making she literally made thirty seven thousand dollars her first month like made and I'm sitting there going like, whew, sure. I am busting my ass. <laughs> yep. But that's the problem. You know? I've always heard this from uh, prostitutes, <laughs> uh, sex workers, um, that once you try and once you go that way and you try and get out and make an honest living, it's real tough, right? Because you, you just made money. Strippers am- or sex workers. So I'm sorry, only fans. I mean, maybe she's not. But I'm just like saying most prostitutes. That's how. I guess she only showed boobs or she made a joke about I've only showed my boobs and this is how much I made. I don't care either way. I mean, like I'm fucking bro good on like I'm jealous. I'm just saying that's going like, to be hard money to walk away from if you ever don't want to do well, that's it. That's not her only job, though. Like, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like, um, I know she just got out of the military and that's what like so. I know she like waited till she was completely out to do anything like that. Nice. I know there are some girls who feel like they have been really held back like sexually and just as a like they feel like their femininity has been really um stifled in the yeah, military. What, yeah, in the yeah, military yeah, 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 and they, yeah. They've not been able to express themselves. So I think a lot of not a lot, but I know some girls who've gotten out that they're like I finally have the freedom to express myself as a Let's woman or do sexually it. or whatever. And I can yeah, fucking do it. And she's doing it. And I, good on fucking her. she's crushing it. She's fucking gorgeous. And I do know, too, that her like main income that she was going to depend upon getting out of the military, like it fucking shut down because of fucking Corona. Mm. You know she what I mean? What you got to do. You so pushed she, us to this. She's been able, I guess, to like pay off her husband's um, like vehicle and her, all their debt in the first month. And I'm Dang. like, that's fucking incredible. 
It is. And so I think just internally myself, like, don't get me wrong. Like I'm going to keep working hard and pushing and keep going. But part sure. of me was sitting there going, man, I'm like, oh man, I'm, you know, like really? I was like, that's this kind of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> but we're to, to be honest but we're totally cool with it no i'm just saying it's a no, bummer I know. for me to like feel yeah. like i'm just busting my ass and working and more hard and more i feel like that's becoming like just on the peripheral like where before it seems so far away like yeah i guess i could always be a sex worker right like you it was like a thing where you're like hey i could fucking <laughs> I, be a prostitute but now it's like coming so close to where you're like but i literally is could just, just actual like the physical act of having sex yeah or you could be like let's say Isn't like sex cam work girl. the same thing sex worker so whatever that means like you could be cam girl as long as you're making money from like sexual stuff whether it's like on you know what i mean like a but cam girl i don't think even think can pictures really be considered that sexual um, i don't know like you know what i mean i feel like there's like this weird gray zone right kind of right i don't yeah. know all i know is that there's girls out there who are good for them finally like you know what they used to give these guys like nudes anyway but now i'm gonna fucking make bank off of them yeah true <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's becoming closer and closer and so much easier where you could just be like before you had to be like okay what site do i need to get on to be a, like even how does that even work and now yeah. it's like literally you could just do it and yeah. you have to be like i'm not gonna do it you know what i mean you have to be like I could just start it. Not going to. Yeah. Not going to do it, right? Yeah. It's I, just so much easier now, which yeah. is good and bad, whatever it is. But sure. like, I hey, mean, yeah. It's just pictures if there's no interaction. I mean, even if there is, whatever. Fine. Whatever they're do okay whatever. with. Yeah, this whatever chick, they're okay I guess with. This, this chick's married and she, her husband's like totally on board with it. And I'm that's really sure. all that matters. You yeah. know what I mean? And See, I like that I, seems like the best way to do it, right? Like I said before, I think when we talk about OnlyFans or whatever, if I was younger, like in my 20s and was comfortable like doing it because I would have been in my 20s. Yeah. Especially looking a little bit more fresh sure. and vibrant. And I wasn't married or, you know, or if my husband was okay with it, I would totally do it probably. For sure. Limit it. I would have to limit myself. You'd have to have boundaries. Yeah. I love how I was like, I would totally do it. Maybe, probably. Maybe, probably, but, but maybe just feet, but then maybe just a boob and not here, all boobs. But. That I feel like that's where I would get. No, I no would, badge, right? I, maybe oh, badge. no. That's, that's what I mean. Maybe. You get the right number. Do you know what I'm saying? So it goes like that, right? I know. Where it's like. I think that's what I have to, if I did it, I would have to put boundaries for myself. Like, there's, you're going to see, there's going to be no tits. There's going to be no, like, full on nudity. The only, like, if only like the illusion of kind of thing the illusion yeah, of yeah. or like sexier photos i don't want anything super suggestive you know and like honestly there's even sometimes too like i would if i was with my husband i'd be like hey is it, you're cool with this cool i'm gonna post it the only thing is you have to like correspond with them sort of like uh, even no. just Maybe. i think that's part of it right? i don't is know that you're much about the, that yeah so that's the only thing where if i'm literally putting the pictures out there and people can do what they want with it and pay for what they want fine but i think part of it is that they it's actually, actually get to engage with someone that they know for a fact will talk to them mm -hmm. you know like i paid you it's a more intimate it's it's just a more like getting into a vip room and if you do like the person that you paid to get in there with like better fucking talk to you there okay. you know that's what i mean actually like one way to look at it and so you think about a, it you're paying for you're the gonna have less people mm -hmm. right so she can have people in there that she wants or not, right? Well, I guess she charges people like $20 a month. Sure, but like, and then I think she, she can also be like, if someone's being creepy, like she could definitely just not have that. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, like, too. And on top so, of that, people can't be like, you can't be stealing the pictures. Yeah. You can't be taking screenshots of it because it shows them. And if you are to try to share this with anyone in their intellectual property, like literally only fans, I'm pretty sure like goes to sue you. Like they have a fuck ton of lawyers that yeah. will fucking annihilate you. Yeah. Because they have to have that protection to make the users feel confident in their security. Yeah. So, because you give a certain percentage to OnlyFans. And well, all I'm giving people. I'm giving it away for free on WikiFeet. Did you know that? <laughs> on what? WikiFeet. I'm on it. WikiFeet. You have feet on there? Yeah, from a movie. No. Yeah. For free. I'm getting paid nothing. What the I fuck? I might as well Jesse, put monetize. the feet pictures out. I know. Do you have really cute feet? No. Not uh, not real. I mean, not really. I don't have I can't hideous. Feet, I have very big feet. Like I just don't. They're not like 
bad they're not horrible but they're not great do you know I what mean, i mean like, i'm a woman with size 10 feet with like talons <laughs> Like hey, my toes a place. are talons. I got finger toes. There's a there's a person that's into everything. No, right? I would never. <laughs> but um, my feet are for like they're good for my athleticism. They're I've definitely get- worn too small heels too many times in my life. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Where it's so like I bound them, a like a bound kind of in, inward sort of thing, like into a a heel because I really wanted to be a seven or a seven and a half my whole life and I've always been an eight what always and I'm like nope I want small feet really oh I just I've been like give me the fucking 11s I don't give a damn (laughs) right (laughs) um I don't care so I've messed them up in some ways like they're not cute but anyway oh my gosh slippery slope but also 37 a month don't sound too bad. Excuse me? Yeah, right? Don't sound Remember, too bad. I think we talked about her before, but Jem Woofy, who's like the highest grossing yeah. OnlyFans model, makes over a million dollars a year. Yeah. She has over 100,000 fans and they each pay $10 a fucking month. And who knows how and much she more she's paying engages, on the size. though. Like she messages. But she also doesn't show engage. nipper vag. Right. So like she has fucking, sta- like she has standards I would almost, for herself. I would almost forego the conversation for nip and vag. Do you I know think what I mean? Like two actu- Instead uh, of like having to like, I don't girl, know. we're on our phone enough, right? Like, can you imagine having to like, I know you're with your husband on the fucking couch. But can you imagine and though, you have if to be I'm like, actually now responding to DMs, getting paid for these motherfucking DMs? Mm, that's true. Mm, you're on it anyways, right? I'm on it anyways, responding mm. to people, answering their questions. Might as well get fucking paid. Interesting. Ten dollars for a message. Interesting. Can you imagine if you're people right, start actually. doing that? People do do that, by the way. Yeah, you're right. So. Um, anyways, I know we talk about it all the time. Like one of these days we're just going to do it. I know. Right. Me one of these days we're going to get on. Think, think of the money you mean you can make together. If we went in on Grow it. it. Fucking only fan. Mm, 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 their mm, old mm, ass mm, bodies mm, on mm, there. Mm, my oh, saggy tits. Hey, my big old saggy You're like an you older see these lady. Saggy tits and double chins. Hey, I'll show you all sunny. they want. You like it? <laughs> hey, you know what? We're on to something next time. You want to see my cellulite? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you like a little. You like these stretch marks? All we're doing is just sitting there giving tips to girls. I know. Look, do you have cellulite? I have this cream to blah, blah, blah. We can't get away from Listen, it. Listen, people have started OnlyFans hey. for that shit, too. Exactly, which maybe we should do that. Um. Okay, Anyways. last thing. Okay. I figured we could end on a somber note that I'm not okay with. Oh, okay. Something. Okay. Oh, well, you don't have to change your tune. But I'm just going to get really well, real said, right here. You said somber, so... Okay. I'm just joking. So we're, <laughs> I'm just going to get really, really real. Just real. I'm not okay that I started my period last week. I know. There was one inkling. There was one second, right? Where we were like. I was mm. two weeks late. Yeah. Chris and I, like, in, you know, engaged in sexual activity. <laughs> Sounds so professional. <laughs> During our window. Like, sure. purposely kind of trying. Not really. Like, not like. Oh, I think yeah, we are, yeah, yeah. but like, let's fuck a lot during sure. these few weeks. Sure. I took my maca route. Yep. We have limited time together before he deploys. Right. And I'm not like feeling pressure, but I would like for it to happen. Yeah. And I thought it would happen sooner after the miscarriage. And it hasn't. Yeah. And so I think, just like I told you, you were like, oh my God, take a test. And I was like, you no, know, you saw I me. don't want to. Yeah. I was like, no, it's cool. I'm, no, I, no, it's fine. I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to like, be I'm disappointed. Just, and yeah. I tried to act and I tried to act like it, I didn't care. And I kind of didn't. But at the same time, I did. You always do. Like, and I've tried to do that too, where I'm like, oh, just don't think about it. And I'm thinking about it constantly. Oh, just don't just, you know, like, don't worry yeah. about it too much. Don't stress about it too much. And you just do. I know. And yeah. that's fucking human. I think it's okay. And even you saying, like, I'm not okay with it. I again, wasn't like, okay. like, that was the thing I that sucked. I can't give any advice, but. As I went to Target and I'm, like, walking around and walk by the baby stuff. Don't go to the baby Right? I mean, you know, they, like, no, made me. right they there. Made me, they made me walk a fucking it's round. Right there. So I, there. I walk past it. And I see there. it. And I think to myself, like, I'm already two weeks late. And I'm thinking. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> God, who wants to have a fucking baby in this pandemic? And I was like, me, like me, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck when I have it, me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, yeah, but I don't want it right before Chris deploys. But I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going doing this in my mm-hmm. head, this like fucking charade game, trying to convince myself that like I really don't want one and I really don't give a fuck, but I really fucking do. Yeah. And it sucks, right? Yeah. Like, 
I don't know. And I think just being in that, like, again. It's not okay. I'm not okay. You're not okay. I wasn't okay. So that was, like, where it all started. I started my fucking period. I was like, I'm not fucking okay, man. Not okay. Because you want to be like, because you did say, like, I don't, I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm just like, whether it is, whether it isn't. And you're like, even if I am, I'm not, I'm still not going to get my hopes up because you never know what's going to happen. Correct. But no matter how many times you say it. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I'm human. It's still not going to go out that way. Like, you are human. You're going to be excited about being late. You're going to be excited about not getting your period. If you are pregnant, you're going to be excited about it. Like, there's no way to suppress that. There just isn't, right? So I think just this is the perfect show for that of just being like, I'm just in it. Like, I am in it. I am not good. And I'm not. Like, that was I got my fucking hopes up. I did. Fuck you. I said I wasn't going to, but I did. I did. Right? And I, there's and no binged. way not to. No. And I'm yeah. like sad about it. We talked about it before yeah. a little bit, but when you feel like you're trying and, you know, you don't want to like feel like you're putting your life on hold or like workout regimens or like anything else. But part of me feels like, I think I even talked to you like, oh man, I got to get, like, I got to make sure I like really crush it in the gym and like work really hard because I got a PT test right yeah i was like but maybe i might be pregnant because i'm two weeks late and you were like oh that'd be really cool if you were pregnant because you had to take it and part of me's like that'd be kind of cool right yeah but it's just one of those things where you're like fuck yeah i don't know it's just like a bummer and i think the hardest part sometimes too is that you see people that are just like oops i got pregnant oops oops i wasn't trying oops or like i see videos online or on tiktok of people being like oh my kids are all this and all that and just complaining a little bit and I think it's fine don't get me wrong like it's totally fine but part of me wants to be like I want to be that yeah I want to be complaining that my kids are driving me in fucking insane yeah I want to be complaining that I accidentally got pregnant yeah like you know yeah like, I want to be complaining about that and just but be I, like oops and like not yeah. even worried about it so sometimes it's hard because it's like fuck why is it something so badly that you want you know yeah and seems to be such a natural thing right right so sometimes I have to be like so you guys are just fucking all the time now, right? <laughs> Since your period, though, right? That's what I had to do. Yeah. Is I was like, I don't. I'm not gonna look at my shit. I'm just like, right that's after I'm mean, done with my period, do. we are having sex every day. Yeah, and like I don't know well, what don't it is right it now, but my like sex drive spikes super high. And I think the maca root too maca root is like, ovulating. We don't know. It's gotten to the point to where like normally Chris is the one that's like, hey, come on. I'm like, and you're like, shut up, I have to get ready, right? Yeah. And like now he's like. Even yesterday, I was like, hey, you want to, like, again? He's like, babe, I'm like, I got to, like, do this work stuff. And I was like. You're like, excuse me? Right? So I'm not used to that. <laughs> yeah, Normally yeah. it's the opposite. Yeah. So he's just like, damn, you're really horny. It's like, I want you again. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not because good. I'm thinking I want a baby. It's because I want to fuck my husband because I love yeah. him. And so I'm hoping. That it's your body doing things. Doing at it. At the time that it's supposed to do it. Yeah. Hopefully. So I'm okay with that. But I just want to be honest there. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else is in the same boat, but if you are, I feel you. Oh, they definitely are. Like from the last. You. Yeah. Every time we talk about it, I think there's a lot of people that are like, dude, yeah. even if you're just trying and you haven't had a miscarriage, like mm-hmm. they feel that pain of like, I'm going to, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but you literally, there's no way to sure. not do it. And this idea when you hear people say like, oh no, well. You know, if it happens, it happens. We're trying or whatever. Just know that internally those people are like freaking out, thinking about it constantly. So if you ever hear someone's trying, Mm -hmm. it means like it's a nice way of saying I'm freaking out constantly. My hopes are up all the time and I literally cry every time I get my period. Mm -hmm. And I look up. I used to look up when I got my period spotting, Mm -hmm. pregnancy spotting. How how much is it? Like, is it a lot? Can you have a lot? Correct. For like a year. So it's not the same at all. But um, I hear you. Yeah. I'm here with you. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is here with you. Yeah. We love you. I'm just sharing it. We're not okay. You know. And I think there's a lot of people I think it's good to be honest about these things. Yeah. I don't have to. You don't have to be fucking strong all the time. And you you know, people don't have to always put on a fucking brave face and act like things are fucking. Yeah. It's it's what we do. I watched my mom do it growing up the whole time. Like totally. She would not be okay, but she'd be like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah. It's fine. And and sometimes you wanted her. I know with my mom. Like sometimes I wanted her to be like, just say you're not. Mm -hmm. Like just tell me you're not okay. Like tell me what's wrong. Yeah. And so I think no, I like a good reminder to be like, listen, it's okay to be human. Have fucking emotions. Have things bother you admit them out loud it's not showing weakness you're i mean if anything i think you're being strong for yep. being like listen yep. this, is, this is my this is my shit 
Lose my shit, bitch. And even though you might think it's petty or even though you might think it's stupid or it's over the top or, oh, it's really sad, like, it's okay. It's okay. You're not okay with it. Yep. So. I love the it. The end. <laughs> the end, bitches. No. <laughs> it's okay to not be okay today. Try and be okay yeah. tomorrow. And if you're not, that's okay Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. There's got to become, you know, you can sit there and wallow, but there's got to be a point too where you got to pick yourself up and be like, you know what, bitch, let's fucking get back on this train. Turn let's off and own this shit. Turn off the My Chemical Romance, okay? A get out of the good, room. A good balance. <laughs> yeah. Right? Of fucking crazy and sad and happy and whatever. Perfect. Yeah. You said it beautifully. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Um, so we got some you guys been asking for some merch more. oh shit the number one thing that you guys asked for was stickers which is funny i like it i loved it i love it too. it kind of makes sense we I got sticker packs some. coming for you mm-hmm. guys lady boner big to energy drinking broettes logo our faces on the logo like you got it all hey, coming you want it you got it so again if you guys are loving and supporting us we're gonna hook you guys up first we appreciate it more than ever so if you guys want to get on itunes and rate and review us that fucking helps us so Always. much um and by the way hit us up in our dms on facebook and instagram if you guys have drinking broettes of the week you guys want to submit topics you guys want i think it'd be actually really fun one episode you know the lizzo song like truth hurts oh yeah i think it'd be funny to do an episode of truth hurts and we get listener questions you guys ask us the burning questions like shit you guys want to know from us and we answer the truth like truth 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 yeah yeah so hit us up with your questions you guys have we'll answer them truthfully (laughs) whether people like it or not we'll give it to you straight uh because you guys know you can get it here straight from us pretty much and uh yeah if you guys ever want to get hold of us and anything else tiktok twitter whatever the fuck we're on it you know bitch we're everywhere yeah we're everywhere we're taking over anyways so but yeah hit us up with the shit you're not okay with too if you guys just want to talk about it there you go you know and we'll see you next time see ya bye yeah you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl on yeah, don't y'all better things to do, yeah, go buy some fucking shoes, yeah, you're irritating, irritating, you're